Goshen College Athletics provides 16 teams for the Maple Leafs. As one of the smaller schools in the Crossroads League, there's only one team of two who protect and prime healthy athletes for every practice and game. Erica Alberton and Emily Osborne are the heads of the training staff. We question how do you manage to protect the large amount of athletes? I'd say that's probably one of our biggest challenges. So just having Emily and myself and then our 300 athletes. So we really try to direct people, kind of like air traffic control, especially like during this room can sometimes be, you know, like 50 to 80 people. So trying to like triage if we need to do that, figure out what's most important. Um, but for me as the head athletic trainer, like having the administrative side is really important. So the pre-paperwork at the beginning of the year. So I spend a lot of time in the summer when people aren't here, like putting together the emergency action plans, doing trainings like mental health training, uh, talking with all the coaches so they know what to do, and then CPR and first aid. So the coaches, they're the ones out at practice, so they have to know what to do right away, and I'm responsible for training them. I found that communication is the biggest thing um, and multitasking. Um, so Eric and I work as a team. Uh, we cut for everybody, and so one day she could see one person, I could see the next. So it's big to communicate between the two of us what we're doing with patients. Um, and documentation is also helpful so we can know what the other person did. Or we can look back on our notes and be like, oh, this is what we did with this person on this day. Um, and then also uh, multitasking. So we can have one person doing rehab, doing joint molds or ultrasound or something else with somebody else. Um, and you can kind of coordinate things um, when multiple people are in here. Um, and also I found it helpful to like shortest task first, so tape someone's ankle, then set someone up on STEM, um, and then maybe do an evaluation after that has been the most helpful with so many athletes and just two of us. Both Erica and Emily mentioned the relationship they have built with the GC athletes. Um, so I've been here for almost two years and uh, how I build relationships is by getting to know the athletes more on a personal level. So um, getting to know their names, uh, getting to know like what their majors are, what they like, what they don't like, um, and just kind of get to know them on a deeper level so that when they come in here, they know who I am, they um, can feel comfortable around me so that when they have a problem, they can be like, hey, Emily, I have this going on. Can you help me out? They have that trust there built already so that it's not as scary to come in here, it's not as intimidating. So I was start my fourth year in August, um, and working with students is definitely my favorite part about athletic training, especially like in a small collegiate setting like this. So I was a student athlete and got hurt. That's kind of how I got into athletic training. Um, and so my athletic trainer was there for the injury and then the rehab and my return to play. And so for me, like getting to know the student athletes is really important, whether that's just like seeing people across campus and saying hi, um, knowing people's names and kind of a part of their story. And then being able to share a little bit about myself or my knowledge or, you know, different aspects of athletic training. And so being the expert and conveying that to people is really important to start the like trust factor. Without trust, I want to be able to treat any of the student athletes. And so building trust and having relationships with the students, um, very important part. The Goshen College athletic teams are the stars under the lights, but it is the work and rehab of Eric and Emily before the game to keep them performing at a high level. For Globe Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton.